Welcome back to our Nonprofit Spotlight Series at the Junk Luggers of New York City and Remix Market New York City. I'm Lon Epstein and today uh, I have the pleasure of introducing Elsa Pereira, I hope I pronounced that right, yep. with Grand Street Settlement, one of our longtime partners. And uh, Elsa, if you could tell us a little bit about your role here at Grand Street and what is who is Grand Street? Sure, Lon. So nice to be here on camera with you. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm the Managing Director of Operations for Grand Street Settlement. We're a 106-year-old settlement house. They were started, uh, it's a social work model that was started on the Lower East Side around the um, Industrial Revolution and we've evolved over the past 100 years to keep up with um, immigrants coming out. Um, we've actually moved from the Lower East Side also into Brooklyn over the bridge. We have 37 sites. Um, a lot of them are in NYCHA facilities and we're always doing renovations and cleaning up. Um, so we're really happy to have found you as a partner. Absolutely, well thanks for having us here today and appreciate us coming by. So Elsa, I know you told us that Grand Street has over 37 sites, so tell us a little bit about where we are today. Okay, so we are on Delancey Street in the Lower East Side where Grand Street Settlement started 106 years ago. <laughs> we have since branched out. Um, we have sites all across the Lower East Side and then also across the bridge in parts of Brooklyn. Um, actually, more than half of our programs are in Brooklyn right now. So this is our uh, one of our newest community centers. We're at Essex Crossing, where Grand Street Settlement is the, the community partner. And we decided to um, commission a muralist, Massimo Mangiardi, to do this amazing colorful mural, mural for us. He actually took some of our historic photos um, and, and created this mural with Grand Street colors and Grand Street themes, and then we had um, a bunch of our senior participants as well as some of our young people help color in the the big colorful planes. <laughs> um, we're at our Lower East Side Essex Crossing Community Center which is mostly senior services but we do have a, a teen tech center that's sponsored by Best Buy awesome. downstairs which I can show you. Sounds good. Um, and we also we basically do uh, services for the whole family so it, we call it Twinkle to Wrinkle we do uh, child care for children between the ages of basically zero to five. Then we have programs for young people. We do summer camps. We do after school programs, um, STEM stuff. We have an LGBTQ teen drop-in center. Um, we do benefits. We do free tax prep, which is happening back in the offices right now. And then we have uh, senior programs. So this cafeteria space is where we have a vi very vibrant senior community that comes for Zumba and Tai Chi and bingo and dancing. I don't know if you were here when the music was playing. <laughs> so, um, and we do those, those programs across uh, a lot of our sites. I know that years and years and years ago, junk luggers from where we originally started and junk luggers from Remix Market, we donated tons of office furniture to, I think it was some of the local community centers. Yeah. It, through Brooklyn and maybe even the Lower East yep. Side. Yeah. So yeah, we, um, we are funded with a lot of public funds. It's often not enough to uh, even do the services that we need to do and pay our staff. And so we're always grateful for donations. Um, we, we have, you know, furniture needs. The furniture gets beat up, a lot of wear and tear. Um, and so we cycle through a lot of that and we're really happy to be a partner. We also are in the midst of renovating our Lower East Side headquarters building, which is at 80 Pitt Street, just across the, the street there. And um, we had 50 years of furniture and papers and we had a safe, I don't know if you remember how much that thing weighed, <laughs> but don't. you guys came and took all of that out for us and recycled it responsibly, which is part of um, you know the full life cycle. We're at the Teen Tech Center. Elsa, tell us a little bit about the Teen Tech Center. Sure, so we're on the Lower East Side. We're at Essex Crossing, uh, which is uh, on Delancey Street. This is a 2,500 square foot space on the ground floor of Site 6, which we were just up in the community center, which is also low income housing for, for older adults. We don't call them seniors anymore. This was actually a social enterprise cafe. For two years, it was called Grand Low Cafe. We made um, lattes. We trained young people to be baristas. We gave them life skills, training power skills. We helped them find jobs. That closed during the pandemic. Then the space transitioned into a community resource center to help folks figure out where could they find food, um, where could they find services. Um, everything was a mess because of COVID. Since then, we did partner with uh, Best Buy and they funded the build out of our brand new Teen Tech Center, which opened in October. 
And we'll go in and we'll have um, Ash and Xavier talk a little bit about the programming and what's happening there now. Let's go take a look. So this is a full service, fully tricked out STEM lab. It's a maker space for young people to come in and learn about all of the different ways that they can incorporate tech into their everyday lives um, and get creative. So we have a very long, narrow space. It used to be a cafe, and you'll see some remnants of that. Right here, we have our collaborative area where folks can sit around a table and brainstorm and come up with stuff. We have computers lining all of the walls. And as we move back down, I'll show you the music studio and also the filming area. We're here in the music studio, aka the B Laboratory, as I would call it. Tell us a little bit about what goes on here. Okay, so we have a small space. This was the manager's office and partly the pantry for the cafe. We rebuilt it into a soundproof music studio where young people can come in, they can learn how to use the setup here. We have guitars on the wall, we have um, this tap pad, we have a drum set, I don't know where it is, um, we have a keyboard. So young people can come in here, they can create um, a piece of music, they can record it here, they can come, they can go outside and use Photoshop and make their album cover, and then they can go to the back and they can film their music video, um, soup to nuts, all in the space. Amazing, amazing. So our third room of the Teen Tech Center is really where we do, um, we, we were set up for filming. So this is a pull down screen, green screen, black screen, white screen, that we can have um, filming occur. We also have more computers here where young people can use them to do their homework, to learn Photoshop skills. Um, we also, this is actually, uh, we, we have programming that happens every day after school. And so this is, this is some of what that is. They're doing custom phone cases. We also have have um, 3D printers that are actually more up in the front, so there's there's that kind of stuff. They learn how to doodle digitally, um, paint with light, let's see, um, cameras, we have robots, we have stuff that they can build with. Uh, so it's really the sky's the limit for these uh, young people to take their imagination and use tech to make it a reality. Sounds great. Well, thanks for having us today.